In this video, we're going to be finding the mean and variance of a probability density function by integration. We're going to be using one example from an exam paper today. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is to find the mean of a PDF by integration. The second thing that we're going to do is find the variance of the same PDF also by integration. The final thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply some of the rules that you will have seen in S1 where you have questions such as this for the expectation of x and for the variance also the same. So we're going to be applying the rules that concern these two formulae. So the first thing we're going to look at is finding the mean of a PDF by integration. And you can see I've put the formula up here from the start of the video that the mean, which is also written as mu or the expectation of x, is found by integrating the function which has then also been multiplied by x. So you integrate x fx between both limits. So you integrate the entire PDF but you must have multiplied the function by x. So let's apply that to, to a question. We have this PDF and I'm going to start off by sketching it. Now you'll see in a later video that you can find the mean sometimes by sketching when the PDF is symmetrical. However, I can see that this is, good. This is a straight line, so it's not going to be a, a symmetrical graph. I'm going to substitute in my limits. So when x is 0, we've got 6 over 18, which is a third. So at 0, the height of the graph is a third. And when x is 6, 6 minus 6 is 0. So at 6 on the x-axis, we have a straight line going down from 1 third to 6. OK, so we can see from the graph that there isn't any symmetry there, so we're going to have to integrate this. So the expectation of x equals the integral of x fx dx between the bottom limit and the top limit. So applying our PDF to this, we're going to have the integral between 0 and 6 of x times 6 minus x over 18. I'm going to multiply the fraction by x, but I'm also going to take out 1 18th and put it on the outside of the integration. So taking out that denominator, and we'll deal with that later between 0 to 6 and we've got 6x minus x squared. So if we multiply this, uh, sorry, if we integrate this now, we're going to have 1 18th times 6x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3 and that's going to be between 0 and 6. Substituting in our values, we will get 6 times x squared, which is 216, divided by 2 is 108. And we're going to be taking away 6 cubed, which is 216, divided by 3 is 72, which will give us 18, sorry, 1 over 18 times 36, which will give us Two. So the expectation of x in this example is 2. I now want to look at finding the variance of x. So the same question. I've copied the graph over so I don't need to sketch it again just so it's in the picture. We want to find the variance of x. Now if you or if we go back to the start, we have a look at the formula. 
we have to do, or to find the variance of x, we have to multiply the function, not by x this time, but by x squared. And then we need to subtract the mean all squared. So in our current example, we know that the mean or the expectation of x is 2. We found that here. So we're going to be taking away 2 squared from, from when we multiply the function by x squared. So I'm just going to write it generally. Again, we've got x squared multiplied by fx. And we're taking away the mean all squared. So applying that to our function, we're going to do the same as before, taking the 1 18th out. We're going to integrate between our limits 0 and 6. And I'm going to multiply 6 by x squared, so I'll get 6x squared minus x cubed. And I need to take away my expectation of x, which is 2, and I need to square that as well. Now I want to integrate the function, so we're going to have 1 18th multiplying 6x cubed over 3 minus x to the power of 4 over 4, that's between 0 and 6. We're going to take away 2 squared, which is 4. We're going to substitute in the 6, and when I do that I'm going to get 1 18th outside of 432, take away 324, and when I substitute in the zero, I'm going to get nothing, so I don't need to worry about that, and I must remember to take away the mean all squared, so I'm going to take away 4. Once we do that, we're going to get 108 divided by 18, take away 4, which is 6, take away 4 which is 2. So the variance of this is also 2. Now I want to look at our final point of the video which is to apply the rules concerning the expectation of ax plus b and the variance of ax plus b. So if we apply this back to our question I'm going to say, let's find the expectation of 2x minus 1. And I also want us to find the variance of 2x minus 1. Now this is very, very simple. Remember that the expectation of ax plus b equals a times the expectation of x plus b. And the variance of ax plus b equals a squared times the variance. So we're going to just be applying those, those formulas. Let's start by doing the expectation of x. So we've got the expectation of 2x minus 1, which is the same as doing 2 times the expectation of x minus 1. Substituting in the expectation of x, that's 2 times 2 minus 1, which is 3. And then for the variance, again we've got to find the variance of 2x minus 1, so that's 2 squared times the variance of x. So we've got 2 squared times the variance this time, which was also 2, so that's 4 times 2 which is 8.